Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are you all doing? It's your man Baza B and Lindsay B. Yes, we're back in the shed this week. Right guys, before I go into this week's video, uh, I just want to reiterate that I'm not a professional, I'm a pure amateur, and everything I do, I do with finding knowledge out as I go along, uh, or asking you guys, I mean, you guys have been very helpful. And also, my channel's about the truth. Now, for the last... <sighs> how long I've been fighting with sea fish. Well, I've not been fighting. We've, we've been sorting things out with sea fish to try and get our bull certificate, to try and get a registration, and you can't get one without the other. And it's been a fight, I must admit. I mean, I'm absolutely knackered. I'm getting about four hours sleep a night because of the stress here at all. And you can see by me, I'm, I'm done. I really am. I've never had a day off in blooming weeks. Apart from filming for you guys, obviously, the last last two Dunbar ones, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that was actually a pleasure today because we were away from the boat, away from the work and the stress. So I quite enjoyed that myself. However, I do need a gimbal though. A gimbal for my camera. That will steady everything up, all the shots, because I was not happy with that when I edited it. Now, comes to my problem. I haven't been filming while I've been work, trying to work out this thing with sea fish. Uh, basically, we've Sea fish have said get the deck level and we'll give you your certificate. Well, last week I got an email saying they're changing the goalposts. They had changed it to they needed the hatch finished, the front locker finished, the back locker finished, and the pipe that I've got for running the hydraulics watertight. Mere work, mere time I've no got. I know it still needs done, however, I'm done as is, I'm, I'm running on empty here. Now, the guys were really good once I had um, corrected them on their mistake because under 7 metres is structural only, so I only need to get to deck level. Then they changed the criteria to they need the, uh, a removable beam in between the engine hatch in place. So I made one up, and I'll show you in a second what I made up. And they had a wee discussion about it yesterday, and apparently it won't do. And I'm quite glad of this actually because it'll no do for me either. When I put it in, I thought that's not good enough for the Lindsay B, that's for sure. So come on, guys, I'll take you up into the boat and I'll show you exactly what I've been up to. Right, guys, this is my problem, right? Sea fish being sea fish, they don't want grey, they want black and white. So if you put in your drawings and your explanation that you're putting a 6x3 uh, Douglas Fir beam in, they want to see a 6x3 Douglas beam in. Now, I had to cut away the bottom of this because obviously it was too close to the engine and once I actually fitted it I thought I'm not happy with this because obviously it's a combustible material next to a very hot, well it will get very hot so to me that was not up to spec for me at least and Seafish picked up on this and they come up with a solution saying why don't you put a 6mm bit of stainless steel on the bottom of it and then that will reflect the heat sort of idea I thought, well, that's all very good when you've got plenty of money, but however, Barry's absolutely skint. And I thought, right, I've got some stainless steel left over, I've got some box section. What I'm now going to do is rip all this work out. This has taken me about three days to actually uh, build complete. And it's basically a scrap it and start again. So what we're going to put in now is a four inch beam. Uh, of stainless steel 5mm thick uh, unfortunately it'll still have to be cut out the same shape but it'll still have uh, four times as much strength as this bit of Douglas Fir not that it's weak and I'll show you why seventeen stone Right, 
17 stone guys bouncing on that wee bit of Douglas fir and they're saying it's not strong enough. They're trying to build a 21 foot boat the same as a 15 meter boat. It just can't be done. I mean, to them it can be done on paper, but practicality, no so much. I mean, can you imagine the weight that I'm now going to add with that bit of stainless steel just to uh, pass this certificate? More weight on top adds less stability. Not a good scenario. Also, what do you think of my deck? Deck's basically done. All I've got to do is the hatch and then that's it. Yay! Now guys, um, I'm actually making my own hatch. I'm not going to buy a one in because basically, like I've already said, I'm skint. Um, I thought that means broke for anybody else worldwide. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm knackered. I can't even think right. Um, these are all done properly now. I've still got another two to strip down and uh, make on the bench. Then these are going to get uh, gel coated on the underside glued and screwed into place and then fiberglassed on top with some tape uh, and then we can sort out that beam so yeah a lot to do today a lot to do and of course it's hot Scotland's getting a wee heat wave at the minute 20 degrees that's a lot for us by the way this is just like mercury would be as well being on so I'm going to shut up now and we're going to get on with what we have to get on with
There we go boys and girls, all done. Have a quick look. Now that's put together with 3 inch 5mm stainless steel screws Seeker Flex which is an adhesive as well Then obviously like I say we're going to gel coat the back which will seal the back end of it I mean water penetration should be zero And then once we get it fitted properly with the Seeker Flex and the same size screws Into the, the beams itself for the hatch Then it will get glued and screwed together then we'll get it all fiberglassed. And by the magic of television. Just like that, one hatch frame complete. Dry fitted of course. So guys, now that that hatch frame is in, we can start measuring up for the new beam going in. And we'll start pulling the beam apart and we'll see what we're going to try and figure out to make it stronger and better so sea fish can see. That's a, another good job you've done there Barry. Right, come on. Right guys, there's the general idea of what we're uh, trying to achieve here. However, I'm going to have to make up some new brackets and I really need to keep the heat on this. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to say cheerio to you guys. Uh, check back next week to see if I've got it done, to see if uh, uh, Seafish are happy with my progress and see what else they can come up with to actually get this certificate. A couple of disclaimers though. It's lobster season in six weeks time. Is Baz going to make it? Not a frickin' chance in hell with this lot. Uh, oh, another good couple of things, yeah. Right, for you guys that follow us on our social media platforms, you'll have seen that we've actually been in the Sea Fish magazine. I know I've just been slating them and try to give you guys a comprehension of exactly what you've got to go through to build a new boat. Don't do it. If this is what it's like for an under seven metre boat, what would it be like for an over seven metre boat? I'll just, I, I, would, I would hate to comprehend what these guys actually go through. Anyway, we're actually in the Seafish magazine called The Key Issues. Now I'll put a link in the description below uh, to this magazine. I think we're on about page 64 or 34 or something like that. Have a read anyway. We're in it. And some good news. This week we shall be in the Sunday Post as well. That's our British newspaper for all you uh, international people. Uh, we'll be in the paper for that as well because I had the, the, a nice photographer up putting me all sorts of funny positions. Now keep it clean. Uh, to actually take a, bit, a couple of photographs of the boat and what we're trying to achieve here. And that uh, if you can get a wee look at that. Uh, obviously I'll be able to put a link into that until next again week but that's something that you've got to look forward to, isn't it? Yeah! Right, my lovely lot. 
Thank you very much for watching. Do the usual. Click that like button. Definitely put that subscription chat button. That's, that's the one you, we really want. And tick the notification bell and YouTube will make you feel special. Right, my lovely lot. Until next week, all the very best, my friends.